With all the crazy things Uber has done this year, there is now Uber Slay. But before I continue, I think I'm missing one thing. Let's get into it. Uber Slay is bringing reindeer rides to Finland for free. So keep in mind, everything I'm gonna be talking about on this video is 100% free. So going down here, the experience, which is available on a first come first serve basis, allows travelers in Lapland, Finland to book on demand sleigh rides during two time slots this month, Uber has shared with travel and leisure. Uber Slay will offer two hour rides at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m from December 12th to December 18th. I am curious how many actual rides we're offering. With this being free, of course, I guarantee it's gonna be pretty difficult to get a time slot. And in addition, from the 12th to the 18th, that's right really during the week. And 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. for most people who have like say a nine to five job, not the most feasible time to just take off and do a random sleigh ride. Really cool idea. One of the quotes from Uber stated, at Uber, we're always looking at ways to bring a little magic to every trip and with just the tap of a button, you could be on a once in a lifetime tour of one of the most beautiful places on earth. We're delighted to bring Christmas dreams to life with the launch of Uber Sleigh in Lapland. I am curious why Lapland, Finland, out of any place in the world. So this is their kind of Thing they have here that it looks like so uber sleigh it's free so that's how it's gonna look really interesting and each sleigh ride is pulled by santa's reindeer complete with a festive uber branded harness and includes a blanket to keep warm as well as a journey through the stunning snow-covered forest of rovaniini hopefully i'm pronouncing that correctly the official hometown of santa claus oh that makes more sense wait is that true actually i actually never even knew that wow I never even knew this. This is the official hometown of Santa Claus. All right, so that makes a lot more sense. I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but I'm just in shock with all the things Uber has been doing. I mean, the amount of times I've done a video about Uber, about a new feature, and I've said, and I quote, Uber's been doing a lot of stuff this year, has been off the charts. I mean, I think I've done probably at least 10 or 12, probably close to 10-ish different videos about different new features Uber has been implementing and exploring and everything. And it's just so interesting to see all the stuff they're doing. I will say, I do think this is a good idea. Do I think it's just a bit of a marketing ploy or basically some type of promotion they're doing to just get their name out there in a positive light? Potentially, potentially, of course, right? That's always that kind of tricky thing with a lot of companies when they're like, all right, we're doing this thing for free and it's a great experience, but What's the real mindset and real goal behind it? But hey, for a lot of people in Lapland, Finland, why not do this? It could be a great experience, like say with kids, a nice family thing. Obviously doing it during the week is gonna be tricky. And as I said, it's a first come, first serve basis. So I could see it being really annoying. Like say you call off work on a Tuesday. You're like, all right, I'm gonna take Tuesday off. We're gonna do Uber Slay and you don't get a time slot and you took work off. That'd be kind of frustrating. I guarantee they will probably try to figure out some type of method in terms of maybe, I don't know, being able to book in advance so that way you know you can block it off. Because again, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., it makes sense to have a sleigh ride during those times. Maybe it's just a lot easier in terms of the logistics. But in terms of the logistics for, let's say, a common working person, again, traditional nine to five job or whatever, that is gonna be a lot more difficult. But again, Uber's been unveiling so many new ideas and what a better way to finish off 2022, finish off the year with a Christmas themed Uber experience. And I guarantee, you know, especially if this goes well, it will not just be in Lapland, Finland. This could be a worldwide thing where maybe they pick select spots around different countries, you know, maybe some unique hot spots and create maybe an attraction around it. I'm not sure, but I got to say with Uber doing so much now with their hands in so many pockets, like I've said in tons of other videos, Amazon started as a bookstore but now Amazon sells everything. Uber, in my mind, started as a rideshare company. And I think especially, let's like, say in 2023, 2024, and the years to come, people will look at it less and less as a ride-sharing company, so to speak, and more of an on-demand service company for numerous different services that Uber can provide that you can quickly have right on the app in terms of so many different features and so many different experiences you can have.